It wasn't a hard decision, obviously, to come back. Love my time here at the club before and I have an important six months coming up and I want to play as much football as I possibly can. So I thought this is the best place to be and the best environment to be. Towards the back end of last season, had talks at a lot of clubs and I ultimately made the decision to go to Celtic. Went over there with an injury, which killed me out for three months. It wasn't ideal, of course, uh, to come to a new club, into a new environment, a new country with an injury. I got there with the ambition just to get back as fit as I could and pushed to obviously get into the squad at Celtic. With the amazing group of players you have there, it was never going to be easy, missing pre-season and all that kind of stuff. Um, it obviously made it difficult and led to my decision to come back here because, as I said, an important six months coming up with the Asian Cup in April for the 23s and then hopefully we won't qualify for the Olympic Games at the end of this season. So um, that played a huge factor in my return back here. The club, they nurtured me. They gave me all the opportunities as a player and uh, for me, it was massive to come back here now because um, I feel I can repay a little bit. Um, I think I've grown a lot since when I first arrived here to what I am as a player now and I know the team deserves to be in a better position than what they are and I'm hoping I can just do that and help the team get to back to where we were. To be fair, not much has changed in terms of personnel. Obviously, the new head coach um, in Aurelio and um, he implements sort of the same things that we've had over my time here before. and. The stars in the team that are here, with Lex and Maka, and obviously they've added more quality to the side and as soon as everyone gets on the same wavelength, I think it will be a hard team to stop. Tilio accelerates, he's so quick! And Jamie McLaren restores City's two-goal cushion. It's massive as a player when you know your teammates well enough, especially Maka, who loves to score goals and you try to get the ball to where he knows he does his best work and someone like Lex where you know I can feed off him and now playing with Tolgate as well in, in the middle at training. I can see what he's about and he's a top, top player so I'm really looking forward to playing with him and boys are coming back from injury and all that kind of stuff so once we get all the personnel back and all the boys on the same wavelength I think there's unfinished business here so hopefully for the rest of the season everything goes to plan. Here goes Marco Tilio, great ball in and Jamie McLaren heads home his second. Obviously the Melbourne Derby is probably the biggest game in the calendar and um, as I have an opportunity to come back and play that game, yeah, I can't wait. So I'm looking forward to that. My first year when we won six or seven nil. Looking back now, it's probably a very difficult thing to do. The memories that we created here in my time before were amazing, all of them, and our derby memories are even better. So can't wait to obviously get back to Amy Park and um, hopefully, yeah, we can get the three points.